Howdy. Today, we will be taking a look at Fans Toys, Ethereon. And, you know, the more I look at him, the more I think he kinda looks like Superion from Transformers Generation 1. But that's probably just a coincidence. This combiner set comes with one giant blaster, two winglets that attach to the chest, two gold-painted antenna as opposed to the gold chrome antenna, one abdominal addition, and three alternate face sculpts. In his combiner mode, man, this figure is so good. It's covered from head to toe in beautiful metallic and non-metallic paint, which I, you know, I'd rather see the metallic, but I digress. This figure is awesome, and the combination is incredible. Logistically, this thing is fantastic. There's nothing wobbly or loose like <clears throat> X-Transbots monolith. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. But this thing locks in, and it's really sturdy. I have full confidence in setting this in any pose on top of my shelf, except for, you know, that one. Here they are right now. Let's see how far we can push it. But let's get into some of the ways that you can fix this figure so it can truly be perfect. Because Air Raid, yeah, everyone knows it. He's not perfect, but he can be fixed. Somebody somewhere on some online forum or Facebook page or something okay, we get it. What's your point? said that this is actually the intended way to attach the wing. You have to fold the pieces that go along the front of the jet 90 degrees, and the plastic really wants to fight you, but once you tab in the wing tips on the inside, it really stays in place. Once you've gotten all that figured out, you'll find that this figure can get down. Of all the combiners we have ever seen produced by any company, this has to be the best, period, full stop. This pose is completely natural. There is nothing fake here. It did take a lot of arm wrestling with this thing to get it into this position, but its weight is distributed fully across the knee, the foot, the fist, the other foot, and I mean, this pose just looks so good, and this figure weighs so much. Maybe I'm just weak. Okay, I am weak, but still, this figure took a lot of wrenching on to get it into this position, but it holds it, and it's really well done, and there's nothing colliding or scratching. This is just how much articulation this figure has, and I gotta give Fans Toys credit, they really did a number on the articulation. The only problem is the arms. Everybody said it already, but those shoulders just look so goofy. Just look at it in this pose with acoustic wave. But, and of course the arms only bend to 90 degrees, but other than that, this figure really is something else. And it's got me definitely confident in Fans Toys' next combining groups. Here's how Fans Toys' Ethereon scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Sweep, and Leader Class Grimlock. Here's how Fans Toys' Ethereon scales with x Transbots Klaatu, Takaratomi Masterpiece Prowl, Magic Square Light of Peace, and Takaratomi Masterpiece Skyfire. Here's how Fans Toys' Ethereon scales with x Transbots Monolith and DX9 Gabriel. Here's how Fans Toys Ethereon scales with Fans Toys Gary and Magic Square Heavy Gunner. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Fans Toys Ethereon. If there are any other figures you'd like me to take a look at next, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'm Leo, reminding you that plastic toys don't belong in plastic prisons. See you next time.